Hi, this is Dan Petrock. This is a short video to help you graph multiple lines within Wolfram Alpha and then how to get those graphs into your projects. So uh, this is a project uh, comparing the costs of buying hardbound books and e-reader, uh, book e-readers with books. So this first equation is just like we took the average hardbound book is $28, let's say on Amazon. And then this next one is, uh, I think is a Nook, $169 and $9 in ebook. And then the fire was two sixty nine at six dollars and fifty cents an ebook, and so if you want to plot all three of these on the same axis, you just put plot three equations separated by commas, and then you can actually say what range. So the domain from zero to fifty. So here's from zero books to fifty books, and you can kind of see how they compare. And what we'd be interested in is where they cross, obviously. So at how many books do you need to buy before it justifies to get a nook, let's say. So here's hardbound, the blue line is hardbound, and then red is nook. So it looks like, you know, a little under 10 books um, gets, you, uh, gets you there. And then, so if you're going to buy more than 10 books, it makes sense to buy a nook, which kind of justifies the, the initial cost there. Um, and then at some point right here, it looks like, oh, maybe around, uh, what's that around? Probably around 13 or 14, somewhere in there. Um, we, we could justify uh, the Kindle Fire, but still the Nook is still a better deal. But then if we go way out here, they meet again. It looks you know somewhere around 40-ish or so. So if you're going to buy more than 40 books, it actually would justify to get the um, Fire because it's cheaper per book. Um, and then if you want to get these equations into your uh, whatever documents or whatever, if you when you mouse over it, there's little menus popping up. The last one is Clip and Share. Um, and I was able to get it to pop up here. It gives a little clip there. And what I could do here is hit uh, copy image. I right clicked and hit copy image. I believe I can hit save, save image. But if I just copy this and then I open up a blank Word document, um, let's see if I can paste it there. I hope. There it is. So I pasted it. And then I can resize it here or whatever. So, um, really handy way to make graphs, really handy way to get those images into your explanations or, or when you're trying to. Uh, communicate mathematically. So hope that little video helps and uh, good luck on your projects.